Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asian Athletics Federation and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the fifth meeting of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, which was held at the headquarters of the Olympic Committee in the Seif District. He expressed pride in the General Assembly's trust and for recommending him as Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee. He praised the role and support of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his achievements during which he led the Olympic Committee to a new era of excellence and development. He expressed thanks and appreciation for His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his support and patronage of the Olympic Committee, which witnessed many achievements and promised His Highness to move forward and even more efforts to achieve success and development. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid affirmed the importance of the gains that have been obtained recently and the importance of moving forwards towards promoting the Olympic Committee March and development administrative, financial and technical work and adopt various plans, programmes and strategies to promote the sports movement. He noted that the next phase of the Olympics Committee requires cooperation and planning for the future and is based on the development of the administrative structure and promotion of the revenues of the Olympic Committee according to a scientific methodology. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid launched an initiative in which he announced that the Khalid bin Hamid Foundation, the KHK, will grant five scholarships to five promising talents annually, according to specific criteria and conditions. His Highness also directed the importance of helping retired athletes and to guide them in how to promote themselves and benefit from their fame and success stories. He also directed the preparation of a study to establish an accredited laboratory in Bahrain for steroids inspection as well as to attract technical experts from abroad for the technical evaluation. His Highness asserted the importance of promoting the activities and the programmes of the Olympic Committee and taking advantage of the media tools available and the cooperation with various sports media. For his part, the Secretary General, Mohammed Hassan al Nizif, reviewed the new vision and strategy of the Olympic Committee and the next plan of action for the development of the administrative, financial and technical work. In the presence of the Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Riding Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Deputy Chairman of the Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the President of the Supreme Council for Environment, and the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club held the 24th race meeting of the season at the race course in Sakir. It was held for the Cubs of the Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, his son, Sheikh Isa, and the late Yosef Barisli. Also present at the race were Sheikh Khaled bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as horse racing fans. The event comprised seven races. At the end of the races, trophies were presented to the winners.
The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Public Planning, Isam Khalaf, visited various parts of the Kingdom along with officials from the Ministry in order to ensure the safety of the main and secondary roads. The Minister visited the areas most affected by the heavy rainfalls. The Ministry drained rainwater puddles in a number of locations using the Ministry's emergency dispatches, which the Minister thanked for their efforts to control the situation and limit any disruptions. On that note, Bahrain witnessed heavy rains along with a thunderstorm. The meteorological agency's reports have expected a change in the weather and continue to predict periodical rainfall and will be accompanied by thunderstorms before the sky partially clears. Northern winds will blow at the speed of 5 to 10 knots, which may increase to 13 to 18 knots. The meteorological agency has confirmed that the King Fahad Causeway experienced the heaviest rainfall, where it approximated 53 millimetres, whereas the rest of the country experienced 34. The weather is expected to stabilise by tomorrow. A delegation for the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, headed by the President Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the press conference to announce the Art from the Kingdom Bahrain exhibition at the Albertina Academy of Art in Turin, Italy. Sheikh Ahmed stressed the importance of the partnership between cultural institutions to open wider areas of cooperation and knowledge to establish a civilised dialogue and know the world about achievements. During the press conference, Dr Gabriel Romeo gave a general analytical reading on the works of art presented to the artists from the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting the diversity of schools and the artistic approaches reflected in the participating paintings. Director General of Culture and Arts at the Bahrain Culture and Antiquities Authority, Sheikh Ahala bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, expressed her pride in the level of cultural cooperation between the Authority and the Albertina Academy of Arts, pointing to the support of the Embassy of Italy in Bahrain to promote Bahrain as an incubator for the arts and as an active participant in the world cultural and artistic scene. Bahrain's Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed that Bahrain's participation in the holding of an extraordinary parliamentary meeting in Yemen reflects its commitment to the Saudi-led Arab coalition's effort to support the legitimate government in Yemen through peaceful means, as per the Gulf Initiative, as well as the National Dialogue, and the UN's resolutions, which would end Iran's interference and would bring peace and stability to Yemen. The Ministry welcomed the holding of a convention of the Parliament and it said it reflects the Yemeni's people's support of the legitimate authority in order to bring security, peace and development to the country. <laughs>